welcome. Wasi 2023 Federal Mathematics Elective Maths Section B Question 5. In a town, 15% of a people of the people speak three. If four people are selected at random from the town, find the probability that A. More than half speak three. Then B. At most two speak three. So this is a probability question. But we are saying more than half speak three. What we are giving in those who speak three, then it means using the direct probability may not work. So you are going to use what they call binomial probability. And we can recall what the binomial probability simply means. We have P x equals to n x p x q n minus x how do we define each of the terms so this is a binomial probability of uh, a, a single trial in this case the trial is going to be the speaking of what three then this is the number of uh, selection in this case how many are we selecting four people are being selected so that is the number of people being selected then the x is the single uh, success which will be more than half of them speak three that is the selection then p stands for the probability of a success what is a success those speaking three the probability of the people speaking three that is the p then already know the x the q we know this is the success this will be a failure in other terms we know Probability of events happening plus the probability of the event not happening give rise to what? One. You remember that formula, that property. So if this is the event occurring, then what is the probability that it is not occurring? That is what we are referring to as what? The failure. So the success, meaning occurring probability, then the Q, which is the failure, we what? Become not occurring. So this occur. Okay, this is not okay. So, success, failure. All right. So, I believe all the terms are being defined. So, how do we uh, get those terms in the question? So, let me just kick the first one. Our N in this case is going to be 4. Right? We establish that. Then, what again are we supposed to uh, find? Let's just find this P. This is the capital P, this small P. So, let's find the small P. The small p is the probability of success. So the probability is going to mean 15 out of 100, right? So 15 out of 100 will be 0 0.15. We are referring to probability event over total sample. So this is the event 15% out of 100 give us this. Then what will be the probability of failure? You remember what I said? Event occurring or success plus failure equals 1. Meaning, the failure could be equal to 1 minus what? Success. Which will be 1 minus 0 0.15. And this could also give rise to 0 0.85. If you don't want to go this direction, if 15 people or 50% is success, what will be the failure? That would be 85%, right? If a success is 15, failure would be 85%. And that could also mean 85 over 100 equals to 0 0.85. So that is the principles we get in there. So all points have been given. So let's look at for probability of what? More than half speak Three. What does this mean? If more than half, how many people are we selecting? We are selecting four people. So more than half will be two is half, right? So two is the mark, which is the more. Then more than two will be three or what? Four. I don't know if you are getting the point. More than half. And what is the half of the people that have been selected? Four people are selected. So more than half of the selection, meaning two is a half. More than half will be what? Three. So this is going to mean that, let me maintain this. 
into bracket, that would be three or what? Four. Three or four people are speaking the tree. So three or four people. Then you remember under probability, all simply means addition. So if I'm going to find probability of this, I find it and add it to this. So let me just take the first one. This one, probability, let me use x equals to 3. That is going to mean this x equals to 3 is the, uh, how do you call it, binomial probability of selection of 3, which is more than 2. What will it be? The selection is 4 combination, the, the trial I am picking. What am I picking? I'm picking 3. Then the probability of a success, which in this case, 0 0.1 what? 5. The x is having the exponent. That will be 3. Probability of a failure, which will be 0 0.85. Then n minus uh, x, which will be 4 minus 1, uh, 3. That will be 1. No need writing it, but let's put it there. So we are going to find the combination here for combination 3. You remember, if you have n combination r, it is n factorial, r factorial, n minus r or factorial. So we can put 4 here. 4 factorial will be 4 times 3 times 2. The n factorial will also be the 3. 3 times 2 times 1. 4 minus 1. Minus 3 will be 1. So this is what is going to be the combination. Let me do the first one. The remaining one I'll use calculator. So this is going to mean 4 combination 3 equals to 4 factorial 3 factorial 4 minus 3 factorial. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is the expansion for 4 factorial. Don't forget 4 minus 3 will be 1. 1 factorial is 1. So I'll concentrate here. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 1 will cancel, 2 will cancel, 3 will cancel. That is only 4. So it means this place is going to be 4. Then I find the answer here, find the answer and multiply. Since it's a product. So here I'll be having 4 times, let's see. This right here is going to be, let's do it in terms of decimals. To give us 0 0.00. 3375 multiplying 0 0.85. So this answer times 4 times this. So this will give rise to 0 0.011475. Don't forget, this is just for more than 2, which is 3. So let's go for probability of x being equal to what? 4. The same thing is going to happen for combination 4 then 0 0.15 exponent 4 0 0.85 exponent this minus this and that will give us what? 0 so we get 0 there if you find the uh, 4 combination 4 you will get 1 so it means this is what we are going to concentrate on so here, this is 1, this is 1, this will give us 0 0.00050625. So now let's go for the probability of x equals to 3 or x equals to 4, which will mean, I mean, this place will have been this way more than half speak 3. We can write it there. That will be equal to probability of x equals to 3 plus that of x equals to what? 4. The first probability we had, the first uh, binomial probability we had, plus the second binomial probability. In 0 point from here, 0, 11475 here, 0 0.00 Five zero six two five. When we add this, when we add this, we'll be having zero point 
011981125. We can leave the answer in this form or we can still truncate it to some number of decimal places if we indicate it. So the first part of the question has been dealt with. What do you mean the second part? At most to speak three. I believe at this point you know what to do. At most, the highest to be what? Two. Right? So if the highest is two, it means it could be nobody has been selected to speak three, that is zero. Or one person is selected to speak three, or two people are selected to speak three. So zero or mean plus one or means plus two. So we are going to add three of them. You may want to take a screenshot a minute. Good. Let's take the second part. So here, so probability of at most to speak three. That would mean that is, we are looking for, let me bring the bracket here. That is, we are looking for how many people? We are looking for zero, one, or two speak three. That's what we are looking for. So let's take for the first one. So probability of x being equal to zero. The selection is still four. So four combination zero. Then we have 0 0.15 exponent zero. 0 0.85 exponent four. I believe you know this minus this will still give us four. So here is going to give us one. Here and there. So in this case, our answer is going to be 0 0.5220625. Let me maintain all of them. Let's go for x being equals to 1. So 4 combination 1, 0 exponent of the x being 1, 0, 8, 5, 1 minus this will be 3. So we find all of them. So this right here, in computation, we have 0 0.368475. Let's go for the next one. X being equal to 2 for combination 2. 0 0.15x means square. 0 0.854 minus 2 give us 2. So let's compute this also and C. So this will also give rise to 0 0.09753375. So probability of at most at most to speak 3 will be the probability of x being equals to 0, probability of x being equals to 1. Probability of x being equals to 2. All the three probabilities will be added. So that means that 0 0.5220625. The second term will be 0, 0, 0.368475 plus 0, 0, 0.0975. 375 and if we add all of that and that will give us 0 0.9880175 leaving all in that decimal number of decimal places this is what we are going to get so i believe you understand the concept of uh, binomial probability using that concept this could have also be well achieved all right Thank you so much for watching, like, share, comment and support me on the YouTube channel by subscribing, sharing, commenting and liking. Bye-bye.